Welcome to the lesson on logarithms. First, what is a logarithm? A logarithm is asking how many of one number times itself will get another number. So in this case, three times itself four times will equals 81. So three times three times three times three will equal 81. To rearrange this, you can write log base three of 81 will equal four. So to recap, these two equations are asking three raised to what, which is the four, will equal 81. So log base three of 81 equals four. So three raised to what, which is that, will equal 81, which is this. Let's look at another example. Log base five of 125 equals X. We can rearrange this as five to the power of what X equals 125. Well, we know that five times five is 25 and 25 times five is 125. So the X is three. You could also input this equation into your calculator to get three, but this is just another way to rearrange it so you can do it in your head. So now I'm going to teach you how to remember how to rearrange them. The first step to rearranging logarithmic equations is to assign each number a variable. So the base will have a variable of b. The logarithm will have a variable of a because when rearranged this will be the answer and and the exponent which is this because in the rearrange this will be the exponent will have a variable of e so you can remember how to order this as log bay log b a e log bay to rearrange it to the other form without this logarithm sign, you just have to remember B, as in B, E, A. So first, you take the base, which is two, then the exponent, which is X, equals A, the answer. So we have B. So two to the power of X equals 32. So two times itself, how many times equals 32? So two times two is four, times two is eight, times another two is 16, and times a fifth two is 32. So we know that x equals five because two times itself, five times is 32. Thank you for listening to my lesson on logarithms. And just remember log bay and b. And you'll be good to go.